Welcome back. In this video, we are going to connect our application to MongoDB. So let's get started. So inside my folder, let me create another folder called config. Okay, so all my configuration will be in this file. And the one we're going to create is called um, DB Connect. Okay, dot JS. And remember, you make use of Mongoose. So let's break in that module. So const mongoose equal to mongoose. This is possible because of the tab 9 extension. Okay, so on that, we have a method on mongoose to help us to connect to our MongoDB. So let's create a function const, let me call this one um, db connect, right? db connect is equal to a function all right and connecting to mongodb is asynchronous right so let's handle that problem here so i'll mark my function as an async because i want to make use of try and catch method here so now bring in my try and catch all right so in here let's create a function called um connected is equal to await. For this await, let's bring in the mongoose.connect as a function. And this function takes in two parameters. One, the connection string. Okay, so let me call this one string here. And then next one will be a function, some um, configuration pr um, properties. Okay, so this connection string, we're going to get it from MongoDB. So you get back to that. So let's pass in some configuration inside our connection all right the first one is called use um url parser make it true okay this is just like configuration and then use um unify topology also to true okay and use create index uh use create index also to true all right and then use and find modified the last one use and find modified to false okay so if everything goes on well let's try to console log the to the user that it has been connected so because of that let's console log let's console log um, mongodb Mongo, Mongo, Mongo DB connected. Okay. I want to have the string so we can inject some and make it of connection um, on the connection or connected, right? On that, we have a connected. And then we have, how is it connected like this? Yeah, this one. Dot host. This one gives us the host that we have connected to. All right. So connected dot host will give us. So if something goes wrong in a catch block, let's try to console log something to the user that error occurred. Okay. Error occurred. And then let's let's try to print out the exact error all right so to have on that we have error dot message okay that message like that so with this let's try to export from this file so to what module dot export sorry it to be module.export and then sorry i'll make it db connect like that so let's head over to mongodb and then create a connection string and then bring in here so let's head over to mongodb.com 
and then let me sign in I already have an account and we are going to grab that connection string and then bring it in, in here all right so let me remove the string here and have a placeholder like that okay so while it's waiting so let me just enter my um gives here and then we are good to go all right so before that let me take you through the application one more time okay so this is the front end part of it and then right now we are working at the back end so we are going to work on this api first of all if you go to to do's okay if you go to to do's i think my server is not running and then let's add to do's here so let's check my server if it is actually running mm, yeah it's not running at the moment so with that so now go to i have a couple of um put them i'm creating so go to click on this icon and then new project okay and then for this new project let's name it as sorry, how should I name it? let me call this one to do application all right so let me call this one to do main demo you can name it whatever you want okay and then create and then for the user i will do it later on and click on create one more time and let's see and proceed to the next part of it all right so let's create a cluster for that let's select the free one and then for this cluster let me select the provider AWS the default one and then on a cluster name let me call this one to do main and then click on create cluster so this is the way of getting the connection strength so while it's loading let's click on the database part access database this is where it would allow us to have access to the database where we are so first of all let me add a user so let me call this one um database user let me name my user as to do and the password let me have auto generate and then copy to clipboard okay but i need that password later on and then while it's loading let's go to network access this is very important we need to click on add ip address and click access allow access from anywhere and then confirm okay so now let's go over to the cluster itself and let's see if that's finished wow it's still loading so let me go to let me paste the password i just copied here for let me, let me paste it here for now i'll come back to that and, and copy it okay you can paste somewhere you, you will remember all right so while it's loading you take a couple of seconds then you are going to click on connect and then grab um, the connection string and then just paste it in here okay as simple as that so while we are waiting let's try to call this function inside our server so let's go to our server and then bring in that mongodb the db connection so here let me type db connect and have the auto import okay it has been imported for me here okay as that and remember it's a function so i call this one um, db and then db connect and then the connection the function and let's call it like this remember it will run and we have to express some error in the console so let's head over to console error you see okay error okay invalid connection string because we don't have the connection string here so it has this error so let's go over to uh, mongodb right um this take a couple of some minutes as we said one to three minutes for you to finish so let's pause the video and when it's done you will come back to it finally it has finished so the next one is let's click on connect all right and you have connect with mongo shell connect application so let's click on connect application and then click on this icon to copy it all right 
So let's head over to our terminal here and then paste it here. And remember, it says that you need to replace it our password. And it's a password like I paste my, where is it? I think I put it on DB Connect here. All right, so let me copy this password here and then replace it with this placeholder like that. And then the last part is let me rename my project as what to do now. So let's start our server again and let's see if it's going to have this error again. So if everything connects successfully, we have this um, respond as you can see MongoDB connected. So I think um, here, let me remove the host name. I think there's something wrong with that. So let me remove this one. MongoDB connected. Successful. Okay. So let's see. Let's wait. And there we have it. So um, in, in in normal way, we don't place this one here. We will normally place it inside our .env file. Okay, so let's do that. So, be, but um, I think we can do this one in the next video. But let me quickly do it here right now. So here, remember we installed package.json file called .env file. Where is it? This one. So in the root of your folder of your project, let's create a file called .env. Okay, and there let's have a function let me call this one const is it const not even const they are just a value property so let me call this one mongo db url is equal to the value so let's head over to our connect connection string and copy everything from here because we don't want to export this one when you put this one to um, GitHub. All right, so here, let's place it here. And let's bring in the, the environment variable here. So let me call this one. We have, to, we have access to that as process, process, dot env dot mongodb url so let's save it and let's see what we have as you can see connection error because it is not able to retrieve this one this um environment variable here so in here if you try to console log um dot env dot mongodb url we have an error we have to make configuration to this dot env file so inside our server okay Let's bring in that .env file like that. So let's head over to our server here, and then in the root up here, let's bring in const .env env equal to require .env. Okay, and then the last we have to call this function as .env .config. Okay and we are good to go. So let's save it. Anytime you make changes to .env file, you need to restart your server. Okay, I think I have an error. .config, so it is config, not config. Okay, so let's restart our server again, and let's see if everything is working. Let's wait for a while, and let's see if it's been connected. Good, so we are good to go. So if you have any question, leave a comment below. Otherwise, we move on to the next session and start restructuring our project. Thanks for watching.